Big power banks like these are getting really popular now. These things are really useful for powering stuff around the home and for places where you haven't got a power socket. But there is one problem with them, the small ones, they can't power the bigger appliances like heaters, stuff like that, and they definitely can't charge an electric vehicle like this one behind me. Until now, this has just turned up from a company called Bluetti. It's so big, it had to come on a pallet. I'm hoping most of this is just packaging because look at the size of it. Anyway, let's get this thing open. This thing definitely means business. Look at the size of this cable. And so I'm taking this, I'm taking it, this is the battery part of it. So let's get this out. It's very well packaged, which is good. So this is actually the battery unit, three kilowatts of energy in there, and it's nowhere near as big as the box, so that's good. So just opening the other box, then I take it this is the main inverter. You've got this thing here, lighting an African family. I'm not sure what that's about, but it looks pretty good. Um, providing lighting and stuff. I think there's like a little kind of memento thing in there or something, but instructions obviously and a little bag of stuff. So let's get all this out and just have a look at the main unit. And here's the main unit. Look, the first thing you see is wireless charging there. Two wireless charging things for 15 watts, which is pretty crazy. Um, these things are liftable. I think they weigh about 20 kilos each. So it's quite manageable, he says. So here it is, unboxed next to the Twizzy. So this, guys, is the Bluetti AC300. 3,000 watts continuous and 6,000 watts surge power capable. And it's got a three kilowatt battery on the bottom of it. Now you can multi, you can chain these batteries, so you can have more of these batteries. So you can have a massive stack if you wanted to. I think it's up to like 15 kilowatt hours or something like that. So this could power your house. So let's have an initial look around then. So starting at the top, you've got the wireless charging ports, 15 watts either side. We've already seen those. We've got DC output here as well, 12 volts, 30 amps. That's that's really sensible. You know that's a good amount of power for 12 volts. It's not a regular DC jack like a car accessory jack, it's a proper um, two pin one. And you've also got 24 volts as well, which interestingly is a kind of um, car adapter, but I suppose because it's 10 amps, you know, you can then get 240 watts out of that, um, which is sensible because you shouldn't be running anything like 30 amps from a, you know, a car accessory port. Um, you've got some more DC outputs here, USB-C, 100 watts, perfect for charging your phone. And you've got two 18 watts there and what are these ones here and then two sort of three amp ones there so yeah enough usb ports on there that's the power button they got six main sockets uk type there three pin there and that's about it for the front of it so around the side we've got ac input i take it that's for charging we've got a dc input as well 12 to 150 volts um, and there's two of those and then we've got a communications port there and then on the other side you've got two battery inputs that look like that and then below that you've got the battery outputs because obviously this bottom section is the battery so you the idea is you're going to just daisy chain if you have more than one of these you just daisy chain anyway let's get it connected up so we can fire it up if you're like me you probably just can't wait to see if this can charge this twizzy behind me so to get going quick i've just quickly looked in the manual and it looks like you remember this big lead we saw that comes with the battery it looks like you literally just connect the two parts together using this massive cable. So this will go into battery one here, and that's just clicks in and then you can lock that. So that's not gonna come out. And then we'll do the same. We'll put that into this, this one here. It would make it a bit easier if you unlock that first, then you can just push that and then lock that in. So that is now connected. So in theory, we should be able to turn it on. There you go, lots of relays clicked. Got Bluetti on the screen initializing right so there's lots of stuff on here is this touch screen yep it's touch screen pretty cool so it's 71 percent charged already which is pretty good so i've got some free energy Let's see if we can stick it in the car so this is a proper bit of kit guys as i say this could actually power your house in a scenario where you know you get a blackout or something like that obviously you're not going to be able to run all the stuff that you normally have to run in your house at the same time but this would get you a long way to kind of you know the lights would be on basically be able to run tvs and all the things from your normal main sockets and i'm going to look into that um, and see if we can actually plumb this into my house here as well but without further ado let's see if it will charge the twizzy so you can actually turn the ac on and off by this switch here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab the, the power lead this car is so cool because it runs on a three pin plug get that and i'm going to plug that into well i should just use that one when it's closer shouldn't i so plug that into there and then we can go AC off, and then we should be able to go AC on. Right, what's that then? We've got a click. The car is 
the car is charging. <laughs> That's so cool. And we're pulling 1900 watts out there, nearly 2000 watts. That is so awesome. And it'll probably give it quite a good charge because this Twizy's only got a six kilowatt hour battery in it. But yeah, no dramas. We're charging, it's 28% at the moment. I'll just let it run, see what happens. It's not even breaking a sweat at all. I think there's like fans and stuff there, which aren't even on at the minute. Um, but yeah, it's literally just doing what it's supposed to. Two kilowatts out, continuous, down to 57%. What's the charge on now? Gone up to 34%. It's not the fastest charging little car at all, but yeah, hey hey. Right, sometime later, it's down to 3%, so I'm gonna shut it off. The car's fans are still running. Um, but yeah, so we got up to 52%, so not, not a huge amount really, but you know, it wasn't fully charged anyway, the um, power bank. So of course, it's not the most efficient way of charging the little Twizy, because basically you start off, start off about 48 volts or whatever it is, it goes up to here and then it's gonna get converted to 230 volts. And then it goes into the car, it goes from 230 volts, the charger inside the car then steps it back down to 48 volts. So just loads of steps involved that are gonna make it just not efficient. But it's proof of concept anyway. It powers big stuff absolutely fine. In the next episode, I connect the Bluetti AC300 to some solar panels. I test out some of its interesting features, including eco mode, and I see exactly how much free energy it will put into my Renault Twizy. Catch you next time.